Oh, good morning. Jesus is still Lord, and thank God the Word works. You know, sitting out here on the porch today, and I'm talking about being redeemed. Now, watch this. I've changed my plans today because the weatherman says there's an 80% chance of rain. There were some things that I was going to do, but I said, well, I'll just wait, you know, till the weather gets better. Well, you need to change your plans because there's a 100% chance of blessings coming your way. Woo, hallelujah, that'll preach plumb into next year. We plan things based on information that we have. You need to plan things based on the information of the Word of God because you are the redeemed. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. You are more than a conqueror. You don't live by the dictates of this world. Yesterday, I was talking to you, if any man be in Christ. Now, I'm in Christ. You are in Christ. You're born again. It says he's a new creature. You see, we're not like everybody else. We don't have to be sick like everybody else. We don't have to be broke like everybody else. We don't have to have what the world calls a dysfunctional family like everybody else. We don't have to put up with the yuck that the world and the devil says we have to have because we're a new creature. Old things are passed away. Watch this. And behold, all things become new. That means everything in your life is better than it was before you met Jesus. Somebody says, well, mine's not. Go to the Word, find out what the Word says, begin to confess what the Word says, and you can change your circumstances because you have the God kind of faith, which is mountain-moving faith. It will destroy debt. It will destroy disease. It will destroy problems. All you got to do is begin to speak to them. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God, but it's released by, <laughs> you speak it out your mouth. This is what it says in James, that we can control the ships and the horses with our tongues. Well, we can control everything that's going on in our body. Now, I'm older than a lot of you. <clears throat> there are a few of you out there that are still older than I am, but my body's young. I say so. My wife says so. We do things now that we were doing, weren't doing doing years ago. In fact, yesterday, which was just you know a holiday weekend here on the 4th of July, we got up early. We got out on the sea dues. We're out there riding uh, before the other people were up and at it because we still go skiing, snow skiing, water skiing. We still walk. We run. We jump. We leap. We play games. Uh, we stay up late. We do whatever we want to because our body and the age of our body is not going to tell us what to do because everything in our life has become new. Now watch this. Jesus said, nothing is impossible to him that believes. You are a believer. So don't let the devil tell you, well, you know, you can't eat this after five o'clock or you can't drink coffee or whatever. No, coffee has no effect on your body. Coffee uh, affects your sleep because you think it does. My Bible says that he gives his beloved sweet sleep. You and I are his beloved. And so we always have sweet sleep. You're the redeemed. You're changed. You're a new creature. Everything in your life is better than it was before. You're blessed. The blessings of God's hunting you down today. And there's some of you today, those blessings are going to come on because you're going to speak to the curse and tell it to go, hey, I got to go. I'm going to enjoy sitting out here and kind of looking around, enjoying watching my little hummingbirds come by. The blessings of God's overtaking Frank. I don't know about you. I got to go. Jesus, he's still Lord. Thank God the word works.